Aptus Listening Test. Take time to read the questions by using the pause button. You will hear five different teenagers talking about a family day out. For questions one to five, choose from the list A to F what each speaker says about the day. Use the letters only once. There is one extra letter which you do not need to use. Speaker 1 Every year my family get together and go down to the river for a picnic. There's usually about 12 of us, kids and grown-ups. We always do the same thing and this year I said I wasn't going. But my parents insisted because they said it would look rude. I wouldn't have minded if it was just the afternoon, but I wasn't looking forward to the whole day. When I got there, though, my cousin had brought a couple of her friends and we sat together. I had a good time, but I would still have preferred to stay at home. Speaker 2 Every year, someone in my family arranges a day out in London for all of us. This year, my mum and I did it, and we chose to go to a musical. It was difficult to find a show that would appeal to everyone, and we were a bit worried that my granny or my cousins wouldn't like it, as in my family, everyone says what they think. So, when everyone said they'd had a great time, we knew we'd made the right choice. Nobody complained, even when we missed the train home, and we had to wait an hour in the station. Speaker 3 Last weekend, my aunt and uncle and cousins were staying and we decided to go out for the day. We were going to the seaside, but we hadn't gone far when we drove past the zoo and my cousins said they wanted to go in. So we decided we'd go in for an hour and then carry on to the seaside. But there was so much to see that we stayed there all day. My mum and dad and my granny really aren't keen on zoos and were looking forward to a day on the beach, but the rest of us didn't mind at all. Speaker 4 My sister's birthday is in the summer, so we usually go out somewhere for the day. She said she wanted to go to a theme park this year, which was good for me, as I don't usually want to do what she suggests. It's a new park quite near where I live. I only went on half the rides I wanted to because it's huge. The whole park shut at six, I suppose because it was getting dark. It didn't matter though because Mum and Dad said we can go again. They enjoyed sitting in the cafe and reading the newspapers. Speaker 5 Last Sunday I went to the seaside with my family. My brother and sister are older than me and they didn't really want to come but I persuaded them as otherwise it would have been a bit boring with mum, dad and my grandparents. When we got there we had a swim in the sea and a lovely picnic which my granny made. We agreed that we'd take a boat out in the afternoon but when we went to get one they were all out which was a real shame. Unfortunately, we hadn't realised we needed to book. So, we just went for another swim and then came home. You will hear people talking in three different situations. For questions one to three, choose the best answer, A, B or C. One. You overhear someone talking to a tour guide. Why is she talking to him? A. To make a complaint. B. To make a suggestion. C. To ask for advice. I just wanted to say, yesterday evening, when we went round the town sightseeing, it was really good to have you show us everything and tell us where to go and what to do. I know later in the week we're going on another tour, which is in the afternoon this time, so it'll be hot, 
and I think it would be a good idea to have a break and get a drink in a cafe in the middle of the tour. It was OK yesterday because it was evening, but I don't think I can manage to walk round for two hours in the heat. Two. You hear a man talking on the radio about a place he visited on holiday. What does he recommend? A. The countryside. B. The entertainment. C. The shops. It's not yet been discovered by most tourists, so don't bother going there if you're looking for nightlife. You will, though, want to have space in your suitcases to bring home some of the local crafts, and you can spend hours wandering the streets, going in and out of the shops, spending your money. Apart from that, there's not really much else to do. You can get a bus into the surrounding countryside, but, to be honest, it's a bit dull. You'll have to entertain yourself by sitting in a cafe and watching people. That always fascinates me. Other people's lives are more interesting than mine. Three. You overhear two people talking about a holiday. What went wrong? A. The hotel was full. B. The suitcases got lost. C. The plane was delayed. Well, the holiday could have been better. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I mean, when I realised our flight was three hours late arriving, I thought, oh no, that's when the bags get on the wrong plane and in the wrong place. I know, I was worried too. I hate not having all my things. Mm. But we were lucky there. Mm, not so lucky with the hotel, though. Oh, our room was OK. Well, I'm not surprised it wasn't fully booked even at the busiest time of year. I won't go back there again. You will hear people talking in three different situations. For questions one to three, choose the best answer, A, B or C. One. You overhear a girl talking to her father. What subject is she studying? A. History B. Geography C. Maths Dad, I think I've chosen the wrong course. Why do you think that? You've always been fascinated by the landscape and how it was formed. But it's much more than that. We have to spend so much time doing research and drawing graphs. It's all statistics. But what about that trip you made to the south of France? You enjoyed that? I know, but we were supposed to be looking at the cliffs and the beaches, and I spent all my time in the museums. I realised I'm much more interested in the history of places. Well, now you're halfway through, I think you should stick with it. Two. You hear two students talking about their friend, Amy. What do they decide to do? A. Talk to her. B. Talk to her tutor. C. Talk to her parents. I'm worried about Amy. She hasn't done any work this term. I notice that she's missed a lot of tutorials. Should we say something to her? I think we should speak to her mum and dad. Surely it's her tutor's responsibility. It is, I suppose. I'm in the same group for some things, so I could ask her tutor to talk to her. I think we should start with Amy herself. She's over there. Look, I'll have a word now. Good. I'll come with you. Perhaps we can persuade her to talk to her tutor. Then her parents need never know. Three. You hear someone talking on the radio about studying abroad. What does he recommend? A. Spending up to six months. B. 
Living with a family. C. Socialising often. I studied at a university in Brazil recently. It was good to have a whole year. I think if you stay less than six months, you haven't got time to get used to the way of life. Because I was studying fewer subjects than the Brazilian students, I had more free time, and I think that's really important because that's when you learn the language. You know, when you mix with people. So don't sign up for a course which keeps you in the library all day. I lived with a family, but I met all my friends at the university. If there's a choice, it's best to live with people of your own age.